yn y gyffres hon o ffilmiau, byddwn nhw'n bwrw golwg ar pump treth porthlaeth Celtaidd sy'n ymbelethu ac sy'n cael y cysylltu gan y llwybrau fferu sy'n ei gwasanaethau. Er mwyn dysgu am y tirlun ar hanes, byddwn nhw'n clywed gan y pobl wybodus. Byddwn nhw'n cyfarfod pump cymeriad lleol. Byddwn nhw'n clywed am ei hangerth yngylch treftadaeth. A sut mae eu cariad teiag at eu cartref yn siapio'r dyfodol. Croeso, i'r bothladoedd ddwy a heddiw, cair gybu. Dyma ddechrau cair gybu. Mae yna olion y fyma o hanner cant o dau crynion. Mae nhw wedi cael pobl yn byw'n nhw ers fil o flynyddodd, um, bron yn ddidor. Ond mae yna olion ar y safle yma yn dyn ôl llawer, llawer pellach. Mae yna olion yn mynd yn ôl um, tair mil o flynyddodd i'r oes efydd. Ond ar ei gwybod lawr y lôn jyst i'r dde hon yma, um, mi o'n y waith copr. A mae yna rhyw syniad o dy pobl oedd yn byw o fy yma hefyd efo cysylltiad efo'r gwaith copr. Mi oedd y gwaith copr i ben, a doedd fawr oes efydd i ben. Os da chi'n sbio allan um, tyn ôl i mi, mi welwch chi brynia wiclo yn y werddon. Os da chi'n sbio i'r chwith, da chi'n sgweld eryri um, a, a mynyddodd Cymru yn fanna. Mae o'n le braf arbennig ac yn edrych yn eddychlon iawn. Da ni'n gwybod o'r olion yma, bod bobl wedi byw o fy yma pum cant mlynedd cyn crist, a da ni'n gwybod bod nhw dal i fyw o yma pum cant wedi crist. Oedd yna chi'r mil o flynyddodd um, o bobl yn byw o fy gilydd. Mae'r adeilad sy'n ôl i ni yn mynd yn ôl i'r trydydd gan nifer ddeg, pedwariad gan nifer ddeg, dim hwn ydy y rinion, ond ar y fan yma, dyma lle oedd, a dan ni'n mae'r eglws yn dal i chi'n nabod fel eglws sant cybu, yr nawdd sant cair gybu. Sy'n ôl i mi fan hyn mae um, cartra, Captain Skinner, a dan ni wedi sôn amdan y fo, mae o yn, yn, yn ffigwr em amlwg yn y dre. Um, o wedi colli lygad pan oedd o yn blentyn, ac wedyn yn y frwydra um, mae'n ei byniaeth America, um, mi gollodd ei fraich hefyd. Felly, um, ar ôl hynny, mi o'r ffennodd ei yrfa yn yr y, y llynges, ond mi ddod o'i gair gybu i weithio fel captain ar y llonga y post. Oedd o'n uh, ddyn diddorol, ddod o'i ddod gyrraedd o gigfran fel um, uh, anifal anwes. Ac oedd o'n cerdded y gwpas y dre yma efo'r cigfran. Fel oedd o'n sa'ch chi'n meddwl bod mor ladro'r yn cario peiro, uh, pa, uh, parot. Mi oedd um, uh, Skinner yn cario'r uh, 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 cigfran. The park, it started life as a quarry, and the reason why a quarry was needed was to provide foundation rubble for the Hollyhead breakwater. And seven million tons of rock were taken from here to provide the foundation rubble for the Hollyhead breakwater. It was derelict for a while, and then there was a local initiative to create a country park. I think running enables you to see things, to feel things, to know things. This is a great location for running. This route is very special on the Afurter Kreipjog, the rocky coast. Uh, what's so special about it? Wow, the view. Look at the view. The view of the breakwater is stunning. You can see the shape of it and the sheer enormity of it, the sheer magnitude of it, the, the work that went into it, that never ever escapes you.
I lived very much the same streets for about 50 years, a Hollyhead boy through and through. Living in Waterside area where I came from, you tended to know everything about the, the lifeboats and those that were on the crew. And living in the street, you tended to know that there was chaps when the maroons went off. You know, you'd see them coming out of the houses and running down the street and things. So I'd been brought up with all that. But when I was in the fishing, I had an angling party out at sea here and I got caught in my own anchor warp, pulled over the side, and it was only purely luck that I actually survived because a chappie passed me a knife just as I was going into the sea. But a couple of weeks after that, it really did make me take stock of everything and who would have come to get me. And I went to the local lifeboat station and I offered my services then. And I had the full time working for the Aronalyze coxswain's position here in 2016. And when I see the youngsters coming in here now and I see that passion, it does mean you know, it really means it to me to see them coming in and I think, ideal, I can hang up my boots, you know, it's, it's, I can move on now, you know, it's very good. I think what I'm passionate about is the buzz you get from saving a life. So you'll come back and if you get that person ashore safe, you feel fulfilled. When I wasn't joining, I could be lying in bed and I didn't know somebody was out fearing for their life. Now I can actually act on that because I'm part of the crew. It definitely feels special to be a part of the story. I look back at what people have done over the years and I have so much respect for what people have done in the past. And I feel very privileged to be in the position that I am now where I can start making my own history. Hollyhead is the jewel of Anglesey, of UK sea kayaking. We've got some really spectacular and unique seas around here and lots of tidal races. And with some of that against various conditions, wind or some swell, can produce some pretty big seas. I've got a massive love for sea kayaking and you never quite know what you're gonna get out there. So excitement, anticipation, buzz, Ah, yes, it's all there. Hollyhead Coast Guard, just to advise, I am one single sea kayak heading out from Port Davach through the stacks back into Hollyhead Harbour over. Sea kayak Bolivar, this is Hollyhead Coast Guard. Many thanks for that, that ma'am. Have a good paddle and we'll speak to you at 2200 uh, to Hollyhead uh, out. So when I'm on a kayak, you're right down at that level of the seawater. It is a fantastic way to see wildlife. We have porpoise, we have dolphins, we've got some fantastic bird life, the guillemots, the razorbills, puffins, gannets, sheer water. We're guests in their environment, which is a very, very special place to be. Stack, in my opinion, is probably the most spectacular lighthouse. It's just incredible. Look up in awe at this incredible white lighthouse that always seems to be fresh and white and bright. It is absolutely beautiful. The cliffs, the little scaries you have, the rocks that jet out, the height. Every single time I paddle to or from South Stack, my heart will absolutely leap. Hi, good evening, Hollyhead Coast Guard. Just to advise, I'm back in Hollyhead, off the water. Over. Hollyhead Coast Guard, Roger, many thanks.
mae lot o canol y dre wedi newid, mae'r ffordd o weithio wedi newid, um, ond mae'r bobl yn dal y rhyfath. Pobl siort orau yng Nghymru ydy i'r pobl sydd yn gwneud i chi, sydd yn help i chi, sydd yn help i allan, sydd yn dall i gilydd, a dyna beth sydd yn, 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 yn mor arbennig am y dre yma. I used to love hearing the sound of the trains going in and out of the town. It reminded me of travel, people going places, people coming here for a visit. There's a sense of things happening. You feel connected with the rest of the world. To somebody who's never been, Hollyhead's a community. It's people welcoming you, people supporting you, people coming together. And then it's a beautiful place. Hollyhead's much more than a place just to jump through on your way to Ireland. But just step outside of that. You know, instead of turning right, go straight on and you'll come to the sea. You'll come to the lifeboat station, you'll come to the harbour, and you're unlocking those wonderful little secrets that Hollyhead hides. When you come in from sea, you, you see the town nestled underneath the mountain. It's got absolutely everything. It's a complete and utter gem.